All right, guys, welcome back to another installment of S2 Cooks. I'm Patrick, I'm back this week. We're fuck you train. Yeah. Welcome back to Stew Cooks. Patty is back with us this week, and we're gonna have an exceptional adventure. I am pretty excited because this week we're focusing in on my absolute favorite meal of the day. We're talking about breakfast. Tell me the good news, Patty. Eggs are in. back here in Stu's kitchen. Uh, we got breakfast. All we really needed was a couple key ingredients. Uh, Stu, why don't you just let us know what uh, what we got today. Uh, today we picked up some thick sliced bacon, some blueberries, some croissants, some toast, brown eggs, and white eggs. And what are the different ways that we're going to be preparing these eggs today? We'll be making sunny side up eggs, over easy, hard boiled eggs, soft boiled eggs, as well as Scrambled. Hey, scrambled. Scrambled eggs. Uh, I like the scrambled eggs. Three different ways. Three different ways. Holy moly. Let's do this. To cook sunny side up eggs, you want to go low and slow. Medium, medium, low heat for as long as it takes for the whites to harden. All right. I'm the lucky guy who gets to try out everything today. So we're going to start off with the sunny side up. I like to throw some eggs on some bread. Fresh cracked pepper for you, yeah, sir. Oh, yeah, man. Yolk test, folks. This is a sunny side egg. It's supposed to have a yolky yolk. Soft yolk. Soft. It's a soft yolk, folks. That's what I'm trying to say. We have a nice soft yolk. Dip that croissant in there. Let's go for a little taste test here. Mmm. Nothing better than an egg, man. It's cheap, protein, quick. Next up, we're going to do over easy, similar to sunny side up, but with the addition of a flip. After it's been flipped, it'll take about 30 seconds to a minute for the rest of the whites to cook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it, Stu. Oh, no. All right, next we have over easy. Nice. Now, unfortunately, Stu is not letting me use ketchup today for some reason. No ketchup on your eggs. What are you? Mm. I'm not gonna lie, folks. It tastes a lot like the other egg I just had, but it's uh, cooked a little bit on both sides. Not quite as yolky. So, uh, you know, the yolk is still kind of nice and gooey a bit, but it's not uh, kind of leaking everywhere. Any like OCD eaters out there, this is your egg for you. So a Denny's scramble is the kind of scrambled eggs you would find at a Denny's restaurant in ABC country. And basically it's a liquid egg mix or whisked eggs, high heat pan, and it's almost as if you were to make an omelet and then at the very last second you just scramble it up a bit. All right guys, this is our third type of egg here. It's our Denny scramble. This is now my third egg with no ketchup. Going. You can put ketchup on this one. I can put ketchup on it, okay. So guys, I have the Denny scramble. The really nice thing about the Denny scramble is that it cooks quick. It's not the most flavorful, uh, you know, it can get a little rubbery uh, at the end there, but when you're in a rush, you can cook a Denny scramble in like 30 seconds. This is definitely something I'm familiar with. So I've noticed one thing about eggs, and that is that they come in two different colors. There's the brown egg and the white egg. Is there a difference between these two eggs? Nutritionally, no. Uh, the shell color varies depending on the breed of the chicken. So there's no nutritional difference? Nope. Think about brown chicken, brown egg, white chicken, white egg. All eggs are the same on the inside, folks, and that's what's important. Next up is a traditional scramble. So for this method, similar to a Denny's scramble, but one step more, we take two eggs, don't whisk them in the bowl, little knob of butter, and they go straight into our warm pan. And you start stirring the second they hit the pan. I'm on a medium high heat for this one. This is why it's similar to a Denny's scramble. Egg whites and egg yolks cook at different rates. Um, if it's one consistent liquid, you're gonna have one consistent texture and one consistent flavor. If you stir it in the pan while it's hot, you're gonna get little bits of cooked white, little bits of cooked yolk. You're gonna have a variation on flavor and texture throughout the whole of the scramble. All right guys, this is egg number, is this egg number four? 
holy moly, we're eating eggs every like 30 seconds here. This is egg number four. You can already tell the scramble, this is our traditional scramble. Um, this is kind of cool, I've actually never scrambled an egg like this. Um, you can actually tell what Stu was talking about. Little chunks of cooked yolk, little chunks of cooked egg white. Uh, definitely more texture to it. Uh, let's give it a go. I'm gonna be adventurous, I'm gonna try it without ketchup. Hmm. I said it's really nice and fluffy, Stu. Stu's not looking, so I'm gonna grab a little ketchup. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Stu, what uh, what can we learn from from our eggs? Well, when you crack your egg open, the yolk should sit high on the albumen or the whites of the egg. Uh, the yolk should be a deep yellow or almost orange color, and that indicates that the feed of the chicken was nutritional. If you have a pale yellow or like sunshiny yellow yolk, it means your chicken's probably not eating very good. That's a bad yolk, folks. So for a French scramble, you're gonna start by cracking your eggs into a small saucepan, add a little knob of butter, and from cold, start on low heat, stirring constantly. The eggs will take about five minutes, but they're definitely worth the wait. Once we get to this point, we're gonna finish them off the heat. Residual heat from the pot will finish the cooking process. So this is the finished French scramble. Uh, with the addition of the thyme and the white wine vinegar, adds a beautiful earthy note, as well as a bit of acidity to cut the richness of the eggs. Mm. So creamy, so good. Man, see, I'm jealous, man, I wanna get out of this. Of course, Stu only lets me eat the poor man eggs. Mmm. Oh my god. Worth the wait, right? Yeah. What the hell? What? Stu, can you just please describe how actually amazing that tastes? They're actually so amazing. What the hell did you do to that egg, Stu? I took my time with it. Exactly. Boiled eggs. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Gently lower your eggs into the water. Reduce to a simmer. For soft boiled eggs, cook them for six to eight minutes. Medium boiled eggs, eight to 10 minutes. And for hard boiled eggs, 10 to 12 minutes. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay guys, so we're pretty much wrapping up this week's episode of S2 Cooks where we discovered the wonderful opportunity that is eggs. Obviously we added some bacon and some croissants and some blueberries to finish up the meal. Uh, Stu, why don't you tell us really quickly about the different types of eggs we had and end with this guy right on the plate there. Uh, today we cooked sunny side up eggs, over medium eggs, scrambled eggs three different ways. Denny's scramble, traditional scramble, and French scramble. That French scramble was crazy. It's my favorite. It's so good. Can't eat any more eggs, man. Right. You throw up. I feel like it's like the next milk challenge is like the fucking egg challenge. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Actually, pretty damn good. We'll see you next week, guys. I got work to do. Dying over there? Someone's vomiting in the garden. Trains and vomiting people? No, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get some beer. <laughs>